This show fucked me up, but the music is really sick. Squid Game, go watch it. Um, I kept hearing this song in, in the show, and it's like spooky, and it's sick. It's that song. I'm sure you, if you've seen it, you've heard that. I wanted to take it from the eighth notes into the sixteenth notes and like throw a trap beat on it. <laughs> throw in some effects right here just to like fill up atmosphere. This is just some random perk on splice that I stretched out and low passed and washed out, camel crushed, whatever. And some weird uh, ambient horror sound. I'm gonna throw an 808 on it, kick snare, see what see what happens. Um, I might make a little build here. Kind of already framed it all out, so I'm gonna try and see if I can do the beat at, into a build and then into the drop, which is gonna be dubstep, hopefully. I wanna see if I can do this. All right, I got this much far. It's just a bunch of kicks. I high pass them, a couple risers, um, and then I take the vocal and I just looped a different one. I think I looped the, the fill right here. So. Yeah. All right, let's make some dubs up. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. It's like three days later. Um, I already finished it and it took way too long to make this fucking drop. <laughs> I don't know why I was struggling so fucking hard with this shit, but I was. Um, I already put out the, the clip on Twitter and Instagram. Um, I'm going back because I want to finish this video for you guys. Um, fuck. Okay, let me play it first. So... Alright, so I'll just go from top to bottom. So when the drop hits, these weird percussions that play over it, and then got some synths that have some weird post on them. I've been doing something lately where I have my synth and I keep the sub on the synth and then bounce that out and then put a bunch of post on that. And with the way I've been doing it, it doesn't fuck up the sub too bad. I still have like good harmonics like readings on span so i leave it alone <clears throat> i haven't listened to it on like a big speaker system yet kind of worried maybe you shouldn't do it this way but in terms of what i see in span uh these ones are pretty weak but that harmonic's good that harmonic's good so whatever right yeah ott grand delay kick tight grand delay more shit camel crush grand delay uh another fucking uh corpus thing soothe it's really the the kick tight and the grand delay um and the kick tight again or panning rezo that gives it the tone you just want to make sure that after you put a lot of this stuff you want to make it mono again because it'll be super super wide because of the grand delay and like the mono compatibility will be all off. It'll sound different in mono than it does when it's not in mono because the delay makes the side signal almost like a harmonic to the middle signal. Um, so to do that, just it, you you can do this and do that, but it's better to decide a copy of one side. Like you could do left or you could do right. It basically just means that it's taking a copy of the right signal and putting it on the left signal because essentially that's what mono is. It's where the same signals are playing on both sides. So it sounds like it's in the middle. And even at the end of this, I lowered the width a little bit because it, it was really wide because I'm pretty sure I added another grain delay after the mono, right? Or uh, yeah, this delay right here, I added another one. So I've been trying to make my synths more like straight mono so that like the ear candy that sits on top of them can like stand out more because 
the synths are just so loud that when you add that kind of ear candy stuff on top of it, it sometimes drowns out. So yeah, that's what that is. For the, for the drop synths past that, it's a lot of just weird distortion that is like cleaned up. Again, if you have it really mono, it's pretty much the same rack. This utility really saves it. Um, you can, if yeah, but if you, oh my God, but yeah, this, it's just a spectral wavetable out of this thing. I don't even know where I got this from, but it's not the one here. It's not any of these. Um, and that this is not doing anything. Oh yes, it is. Yeah. Let me solo out the synths before I put in the ear candy stuff because the ear candy stuff is what gives it the like the ear candy. <laughs> Yeah, so just repeating that over and over, at least for this first uh, eight bars. Um, again, same rack as the the other one I showed you, and then again right here, same rack, but I made a little bit more of a vowel, I guess. I put a low, and then the little skip thing here. I'm pretty sure, same deal, same wavetable, just changed around some of these values, and yeah, same deal. But what gives it the like ear candy is this guy right here. And because I made those synths super mono and these are like, you know, relatively stereo, um, they fit really nicely together. Um, and then just to kind of give it more of the sound from Pink Soldiers, I just slowly faded up the, like, this. And then, you know, regular floor to the floor, kick, clap. So for the percussion, I didn't really add any hats on the offbeat, because I kind of liked the dead space that's there. Um, it is a really weird flow, but I don't know, I liked it, so. Did the regular like little effects after eight bars just to carry it into the next phrase. The fill the the fill here is just the same sound here. Just I messed with the um, values, automated things a little differently. Yeah, that's just the same sound stretched out, grain size, transposition up. Just happy accidents to make that stuff. Uh, again, I think that's probably why this took so long to make because the whole fucking project did this. This drop pissed me off because I wanted it to be perfect and I just kept. I, I probably made like three or four different ideas. So um, for this part, I put a different um, vocal than here. Oh, one last thing distortion kick. Yeah, just put hella distortion on a kick. Like. Yeah, M wave shaper, just fucking all the way to the left. And then to give it some variation on the downbeat instead of it being this, it's this using this sound, but a little different down here. And again, ear candy sound. I all literally all I did was the exact same sound, but 12 semitones down here. That's it. And then on this part, yeah, I just happened to do that cool like thing at the end. Um, I did 13 semitones here. I don't know why I didn't do 12. Oh, and then the vocal here pitched down 12 instead of, um, and then as, as far as the sub goes, um, these had sub in them, these two, and this one didn't. So I had my own separate sub just for the um, clap downbeat. Right? Yeah. And it alternates between F and G sharp, I think. Oh, just F and G. Yeah. Oh, also put, I put fucking marching drums. It's definitely a loop because I don't know how the fuck to make marching drums with samples. So yeah, this is the final product. Um, I'll just play the video that I, uh, 
made for Twitter and Instagram over this, but yeah. So I'm debating on whether or not I'm going to take out the Squid Game parts and just make it my own tune because I really like this drop. But um, yeah, go watch Squid Game or else...